Hi everybody, this is Abba Wagensberg and welcome to my home in Maridumim, Eretz Yisrael. This week's portion is Vayishlach and a very major event takes place where Yaakov Avinu wrestles with an angel known as Esav's archangel. And when it says Vayayovek Ish Imo, they wrestled. The root of that word avak, dust, they kicked up so much dust that our sages teach us that it was like a whirlwind that reached the throne of glory. How are we to understand this? Was there an actual tornado-shaped whirlwind of dust that left the clouds, the stratosphere, the Milky Ways all the way up to the throne of glory? Perhaps but there could also be another deeper understanding as well. Who was this angel that Yaakov wrestled with? The famous Samach Mem angel. The Samach Mem angel is the worst angel that Hashem created. Hashem gave it the task of trying to get people to trip up when it comes to the will of God. And this angel has a special power. He actually blinds a person from seeing God in this world. He blinds a person from seeing what it is that God wants us to do in fulfilling the mission that we were sent to earth to carry out. How do we see that's the function of the Samach Mem angel? His full name, spelled Samach Mem, Aleph Lamed, can be divided in half. It spells two words. The first two letters, Samach Mem, if you change the vowels, spells the word Summa, which means blind. The second half of that name is Keo, that is God. And that indicates this angel tries to blind us from seeing God, from seeing God's will in this world. Very interesting, just by the way, the Kliyakar points out in Vayishlach that in the Hebrew alphabet, take the letter Samach Mem, Aleph Lamed, which is the name of this angel, and look at the letters that come after those letters in the Hebrew alphabet. After the Samach comes an Ayin. Hold on to that letter. After the Mem comes a Nun. Hold on to that letter. After the Aleph comes a Bez. Hold on to that letter. And after the Lamed comes a Mem. The new set of letters that come after the name of this angel is the word Anovim, which means grapes. Grapes have within them the substance that we make wine with. When a person drinks too much wine, what happens? A person becomes blurry-eyed, and it becomes difficult to see. Where do grapes get that power from? Grapes come from the Samach Mem. Grapes are the physical manifestation in this world. The wine represents the spiritual entity behind the Samach Mem. The Samach Mem creates spiritual blindness, and therefore the grapes, which are so closely related to the Samach Mem, they create wine, which creates physical blindness. And this is what the angel wanted to do. He wanted to blind Yaakov from seeing the truth. He wanted Yaakov should not see what his mission is in this world. And that could be what it means when it says that they kicked up the dust until the throne of glory. If you're ever in a fight with someone, lo aleinu, one of the best things to do is to prevent your opponent from seeing clearly. If you knock off his glasses or maybe take a clump of earth and throw it into his face and they can't see when the person cannot see, they cannot fight properly. This was the battle between Samach Mem and Yaakov. They kicked up the dust. The Samach Mem tried to throw dust in the eyes of Yaakov, and it reached the throne of glory, which meant to say Yaakov should be blind from seeing God in this world and the purpose for which he was created. We should all be blessed to realize that there's a Samach Mem out there in the world. Everybody has their own Samach Mems, and sometimes he tries to prevent us from seeing clearly, from seeing the truth. We should all be blessed with clarity of vision to know exactly how not to get distracted by all these things that pull us in different directions and continue to do that which is right and truthful, getting closer to God and closer to each other. We should all be blessed, everybody, with a beautiful life and very good news to share with each other. Thanks for joining me. It's been Abu Wagensberg.